Hi guys, Andy here. You may have seen recently Motorola made quite a few announcements. Uh, the most uh, anticipated was the Moto 360, their watch, um, but they also announced 2014 editions of the Moto G and the Moto X. Now, I never played with the Moto X, but the Moto G for me was one of the standout phones of last year. Might sound a little bit odd, it was, it was not a top-end phone like a lot of the other ones, but I mean I got a Moto G for £99, um, actually bought three Moto Gs to kit the family out. They're amazing devices for the money, amazing devices. If you haven't seen them, watch my videos, uh, you'll find them. I think if you search Motorola Moto G unboxing, one of mine comes up near the top. Anyway, so they announced the, the second edition version, the 2014, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to call it. Um, so I thought, well, the last year's had an amazing screen, had amazing battery, had a very loud and pretty clear speaker, um, and generally performed like a top-end device, all bar perhaps the camera. So I'm really quite excited to see what this year's Moto G is like. Um, I've got this one from Expansis. I can't see anywhere else that you can buy them from right now. Uh, including postage, it's £155 with next day postage, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, and it, the only thing I can kind of, or the best example I can give perhaps, if any of you have ever built your own PCs, or even if you spec them out on Dell's website or somewhere else, if you've got everything top end, the best processor, the best graphics card, the best monitor, you end up spending thousands. If you drop down that one notch, it doesn't just drop the price down slightly, generally it considerably reduces the price. And I think really that's kind of how I look at the Moto G, so everything isn't top end. The screen, for example, is a 720p screen. Now we're seeing, well you could say we're seeing 1440p screens coming out these days, but really 1080p is a sort of top end screen. So it's just that one below 720. Um, but, well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the device is like. Um, I'm really quite excited by it though. So I thought I'd do the unboxing with you now. You will see, there we go, the sticker. So I've not, I haven't touched this at all yet. This is the first time we're going in. I point out right now, this isn't a review. So it's an unboxing and a first look. So there we get the first look out the front and the back. I like, so it's a black, this is an eight gig black version. The back is kind of a soft touch feel to it. I'm not sure, it's a bit more of the Moto E design rather than the Moto G I believe, with those two strips just there. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Um, 5 inch screen, as I said, so it's 1280 by 720, which is 294 pixels per inch. Still, uh, I would say, plenty high enough resolution for anybody. The weight of the device is 149 grams, so it's reasonably weighty. Um, it does have Corning Gorilla Glass, I can never say that, Corning Gorilla Glass 3, um, stereo speakers, uh, 1 gig of RAM, it does take a micro SD card, let's pop, let's pop the back off if we can see, are there any, are we just pulling it from the micro USB port, I guess we are, they do sell lots of interchangeable backs, like with the Moto G, they want you to be able to customise your device, so they do sell lots of different colours, we may even find there's one in the box, we'll see. Right, so there we go. Oh, interesting. I didn't realise that. It's a dual SIM version, this. I wasn't aware. Uh, doesn't mention that. I don't know if they all are or not, if it's just the one that's uh, come from Expansis. Uh, so, dual SIM, the SD card slot at the top, look, two SIMs either side, non removable. 20, uh, 2070 milliamp hour battery on the original Moto G that would I mean it went like a trooper the battery on that um, just snap that all back together to talk about the actual specs briefly so it's a Snapdragon 400 uh, Qualcomm processor or chipset the CPU is a quad core but only 1.2 gigahertz Cortex A7 and the GPU is the Adreno 305. So as I said, it's new. None of it is top uh, top spec, none of it's top of the range, but that's why it's only 150 pounds. And that's 150 pounds at the moment. When you're watching this video, who knows what it might've come down to. Tesco, we're doing some amazing deals on the original Moto G. So all we're getting inside the box by the looks of it is a micro USB cable. I mean, to be honest, do you really still need to include them? Got them all over the place. And what have we got then? Safe, smart, protected. Um, okay, Moto G, let's get started. What do we have in here? So it gives you some 
Okay, give you some walkthroughs of. I've never had a dual SIM phone before, I've only got one SIM in a minute, I don't even know how that will work. Anyway, so it gives you a walkthrough Android and how you use it by the looks of it. Uh, on the back, still more photos, uh, crime, okay. Oh, that's quite a nice sort of pictorial, and, but that's it. So it's a fairly simple uh, box. Let's see if we've got some power in the battery. Hopefully we do. In fact, let's take the uh, take the cover off. Come on, there we go. Let's get rid of that. Yep. Yeah. Right, so I'll log into my Wi-Fi, one second. So, we're just signing in. You're all set. Move now, we don't want to use Migrate, thank you. Now, last year's Moto G, touch and, uh, yeah, that's fine, was, um, was very close to stock. I think that's one of the things that uh, appealed to a lot of people. Touch to configure Simbay. Let's have a look and see what that says. Because, like I say, okay, so I can disable us. Can I? No. Oh, so maybe I have to put a SIM in first before I can disable it. Now I do note I've got two SIM icons. Can you see that at the top? That's going to annoy me. If I put one SIM in, then it gives me the option to disable it. But this, the other SIM isn't there, so I can't disable it, and I have to have that icon. That's going to be a bit annoying, to be honest. But uh, data behavior. Okay, I guess we're not going to really know much about that until I try it with your sim I guess. Secure your phone. I assume I don't I'm not gonna have a screen lock at the minute, thank you. I can't put owner in phone, I'll do that do that later. So already I would suggest that's feeling quite slick. Don't really know what I'm expecting to show you from going in here but the screen, as with the last one, that looks pretty good. So it's not quite 300 pixels per inch, but I don't know how well you can see that on the video. That's got a really good viewing angle. Just says, oh my god, that's very good. Okay, let's try. So here's a here's a folder. Thank you. I know what a folder is. Let's go into, thank you, oh, yeah, actually, let's, oh. let's watch a music video just briefly, because I don't want it to, oh, and then I get to music videos, oh, there we go, so we can check the, uh, oh, check the speaker at the same time, I'm thinking, if I can find one that will play. There we go, festive tune. Mind you, the video's old, so you won't really get an idea for the quality. Speakers are oh, pretty good, I think. If you're a John Ham I don't know if they're quite as booming as the uh, last year's. We are for fully. See if we can just test test the camera very quickly. Tap anywhere to take a photo. Hold for multiple shots. Drag up and down to zoom. Swipe to each slide, uh, side for settings and gallery. Okay. So in other words, there's our settings. It's on a wheel. Yep. Yeah. Automation. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Gallery is empty. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, that looks reasonable. Obviously, it's hard to tell from just a quick, quick blast like that. But I will obviously be testing the uh, camera out. I do, uh, I do video tests. I do some sound tests. Just you know, if you want to know more, subscribe to my channel. Keep your eyes on my videos over the next week or so, um, and uh, they should be popping up with quite regularity. So, first impressions I've got here. Oops. Got here last year's OTG to go side by side, so you can see the size difference. Uh, very similar design, the buttons on the side, the speaker last year, obviously, just here. Look, but apart from that, they're very similar designs. As I say, you can buy different colored back cases for the 2014. Um, or the second edition. So there we go, Moto G, £155 right now as I uh, film this video, but it may have come down in price by then. The Moto G, I, I recommend it to a lot of people. A lot of people bought them off my videos, I know they've told me. Um, so I'm hoping for lots of uh, for good things for the second edition. Uh, early signs are quite good, I would say. But like I say, keep an eye on my video channel uh, and I'll get videos up through the week. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.